With weary minds and aching limbs we journeyed to Herm Bay. With tired eyes and feeble walk we came upon our way. We're here today to talk about um, two Passmore Edwards convalescent homes. The Friendly Society's Convalescent Home, which opened in 1899, and the Railway Men's Convalescent Home, which opened in 1901. The Railway Convalescent Homes, uh, though the Herne Bay one is uh, described as the first of the Railway Convalescent Homes, there were a couple uh, before this uh, belonging to the Railway Mission. Um, the home was opened on the 8th of June 1901, uh, by uh, Liberal leader Sir Henry Campbell Bannerman. Unlike the Friendly Society's homes, uh, the Railway Convalescent Homes, their wards were named generally after railway companies. There were, however, a few exceptions, and you could pay to have your name above the bed, or in this case, uh, a ward named after you. 1907, Princess Louise, Duchess of Argyle, uh, visited for a fundraising event and uh, opening of a new extension. Now, one of the ways that orphanages, hospitals, convalescent homes um, used to raise funds was through charity and railway collecting dogs. During the First World War, um, the railway convalescent home served as a military hospital. So I'd like to talk a little bit about the uh, gates, which, as you can see here, if you know the premises, um, they're not like that at all. This is the Friendly Society's Homes gates, which are still there. However, I've never seen discs on the front. The railway convalescent home went under extensive refurbishment in the 70s, but uh, due to uh, financial difficulties, it did close. It became a, a care home uh, known as Heronswood and uh, more recently Elliott House. 